Just one more time, just in front of your face. That's it. <laughs> Got it. What drew me to technology, computers in particular, is the ability to make machines do things. I think that was just superhero stuff. I think I'm very fortunate to take up RMIT as a place that I went to get my education because of the opportunities that I've had here at RMIT. I truly believe I would not have got those same opportunities had I gone elsewhere. I started here as a student. I am now the head of the department where I started as a student, and that's in many ways quite surreal, and I have to pinch myself sometimes. I've got mostly humanoid robots. That's what I've been toying with, playing with, developing tech for. Right now, our main focus is getting the team of robots. So I have 13 of them, and we want to enter an international competition where the humanoid robots, the little robots, but they play soccer. These are opportunities for some of our best students to engage with some of the best researchers to, to work with current edge technology. So it's always an exciting thing to have the robots around. People always talk about the rise of the robots and are, are robots going to take over the world. I think the new generation of humans coming through, like my kids, and the way they interact with technology, the things they say, they do, and how they behave is so very different to when I was four years old. Rather than watching for those you know, robots that's going to take over the world, I think we've got to watch out for that new generation of humans and how they are going to just revolutionize how we interact with machines. It's not about replacing humans, right? I never, ever want to replace my kids at all, or even myself for that matter. But I think we really want to build AI that helps humans. We want to extend and enhance our human abilities, our lifestyle. What's next for me is launching the AI Innovation Lab and really exploring opportunities on how we can use AI to better help society.